So I'm with the beautiful Linda Ekeji, celebrity blogger. She has made a millions just from blogging and I must confess, she looks spectacular in real life. Linda, how are you feeling? I'm feeling very well. My first time in Ghana and I'm having an amazing, an amazing time. So what have you seen in Ghana so far? Uh, well, I've seen your presidential palace. Mm -hmm. I've seen your stadium. Yeah. I've, I've been to Kepinski. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen your roads that look very similar to ours. Okay. I feel like sometimes I, when I um, you know, drive through your roads, I feel like I'm in Lagos. Oh, wow. It's very similar, yeah. Okay. So I've seen uh, the great people, very friendly, very nice. It's been really great so far. Okay. I must say congratulations to your baby, your new son. Very beautiful. He's, he's a big man now. He's like a year now. Yes, <laughs> Thank you. And how did it feel? Once you because you're yeah, being a mom because you are in your late thirties. Late thirties. I wanted to be a mom so badly, mm -hmm. and so when it happened, I was so thrilled. Like it's the best thing that ever happened to me. It's the greatest feeling. Are you a mom? I'm not a mom yet, but I'm waiting to be a mom. You, it, it will change your life. Really? Completely. Okay, men, please. <laughs> <laughs> Completely. Okay. And also, congratulations on your Bentley. I saw your Bentley. Oh beautiful Bentley, interior divine, mm. and I must come to Banana Island to take a ride <laughs> in your Bentley. But moving away from Bentley, what you've achieved with your career blogging, how did Linda Ikeji start blogging? Well, I started 13 years ago. This is November, so that will be exactly 13 years ago. Um, I started because I was growing up, I wanted to be a journalist. And um, of course, I became a model. I became a little famous. I couldn't go back to being a journalist. And so I started doing other stuff, like in the modeling and beauty industry. And then I stumbled upon blogging because they wrote about me then. And then I saw it and I liked it. And I was like, this is what I want to do. So I started my, I created my own blog. It took me like five minutes to create it. And back then I was, I was very personal. I was talking about myself my work, you know, and then one day I was like, what do people really, really, really want to read? They don't want, they don't want, they don't want to read about me. And then I tried entertainment blogging and that, you know, picked fire and then I just, and that's how I started. So I know your blog got shut down for two days. Um, someone Not shut it up to, to how many, a day and a half. A day and a half. Hey, yeah. but let's, let's round it up. Five, years, five ago. years ago. It was, how did it feel? Because that was your livelihood. Because I'm a very strong person, mm -hmm. things don't get to me very easily. Because like I always tell people, I count my blessings, and so when the negatives come, I don't, I don't hold on to it. It felt, um, of course, everybody around me was panicking because that was my source of livelihood, mm -hmm. and and then I was at the top of my game at the time. And then when it was shut down, I knew that they were going to bring it back. I knew that I'm not somebody you can you can attempt to take me down, but I'm not, I won't stay down for for long. And so I just I just knew they were going to bring it back. And then I, it was and it was even a good thing because immediately it was shut down. It became a, it became a phenomenal event. Everybody was talking about it for and against. By the time it came back, people that had never heard of my blog before heard about it. And then there was solidarity. People who were in solidarity came on the blog. I, my traffic increased, my revenue increased. It was a blessing. How much money? The, the, the highest amount of money you've got to blog about someone or to advertise something? For advertising fee, I get as much as... Uh, well, because I mean, uh, if it was in Nigeria, I would say it in Naira. So since we're in Ghana, I'm going to say it in dollars. Mm -hmm. I've got seen up to fifty thousand dollars to to do a campaign. Wow! For just one campaign, yes. You're joking. Yes. And how did it feel this? Because I know when you started blogging, the money was not coming in. No, Your first paycheck as a blogger. How did you feel? Well, my first paycheck was, I'm going to say that in dollars again, that would be um, 50K is about $150. Um, it came to me when I didn't even, wasn't, I wasn't advertising at that point. I didn't even know you could make money from blogging. So they had come to me initially and said they wanted to advertise. And I told them, no, no, I do for free. Send me your stuff. But because I think the company had made a budget for me. So the people were keeping the money. So they now got to a point where they now got uncomfortable. They now insisted I take the money. So that was the first paycheck I got. And, then, and that opened my eyes to possibilities. Like, wait, because maybe I posted that advert. Other people started writing to me, okay, we saw that adverts, can we advertise? I was like, oh, yes, you, yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I started charging for like $5, $10 an hour. From blogging. From blogging. What do you, so the bloggers out there, people that have started blogging, you are now one, you are a pioneer when it comes to blogging. Mm -hmm. Yes, entertainment blogging. You started it. You started the trend about blogging about people, blogging about entertainment. What would you give to the young bloggers out here in Ghana who are trying to get into the blogging space? However, they are not getting any money for it. Well, I don't know what the, the, the situation is here. The, is the advertising spend high? Mm -hmm. Because if the advertising spend is high, 
um, people who want, want to get their goods and services across to mm -hmm. others? Mm -hmm. do, you have, do you have the eyeballs? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Like, yeah. if you're a blogger, do you have the eyeballs? Mm -hmm. If you don't, probably it'll be a bit difficult to get that money. Mm -hmm. If you do, then the, the advertisers are going to come to you. Mm -hmm. um, you put yourself out there, let people know that, you, they, you, that they can advertise uh, through you. Um, in Nigeria, the advertising spend is high. Mm -hmm. In America is like the money I make in, in Nigeria is nothing compared to what an average American earns uh, from blogging because the advertising spend is very high. They spend a lot of money on advertising. So I don't know what the situation is in Ghana. Hopefully, you have people who want to um, showcase their goods and, pro and services through your plat through platforms, online platforms, because that's where you have the most eyeballs now. Um, so if you if that's the the case where you have a lot of uh, high advertising spend, then you need to put yourself out and go to the people who need uh, platforms. Tell them that you have the eyeballs. Let people see your, your stats. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, advertise uh, and tell them to give you money to put their story, their stories and their products and services out there. So with every positive thing, sometimes there are negative aspects that actually comes to play. Um, a lot of, or a few people, I remember when your blog got post closed down, some people were sad, other people were, were also yeah. happy. Yeah. Um, people say you talk about other people's personal life, like the ex-beauty queen who said you talked about the child's birthday mm -hmm. on your blog. Mm -hmm. um, how do you deal with people, when you write about people, you pick, and um, people kind of attack, attack clap back. How do you All deal that. with that? Uh, because every job has its setbacks has its um you know for me i have a thick skin i understand that that comes with the job i understand that if i write about you you might react to it in a type of way so it, that if you notice i have never clapped back at someone who clapped at me do you understand if somebody throws me or insults me or because of something i wrote about them on the blog i never i never um, return the insult because there's no point people react differently i can write about you and say that you're engaged and getting married and you laugh over it and i I'm, and it's not true and then i can write about someone else and say they're engaged and they would just go crazy on you so people react differently i've learned to understand that and so i don't bother to if i know that i'm wrong i'll take it down i, I don't usually apologize but <laughs> i'll take it down if i know i'm wrong if i'm not wrong I'll just let you vent the way you. I understand that you have to vent because, like I said, people react differently. I'm right. Some people don't like some things out, but because it's my job to let people know what's going on with your life. <laughs> if you're a celebrity, I have to do my job. And if you react, so I don't really take it. I take it like um, it's a hazard of the job. Mm -hmm. You're in Ghana. Yes. We are all excited to have you. When I heard that you were coming, I was, oh my God, I was over the moon. Um, you're going to do something here, an event. Yeah. Talk, talk us through what you're going to do in Ghana. So I came here for a few things and then uh, we're mostly to headline the uh, Nagana Bloggers uh, Summit, which is happening today and tomorrow. I just wanted to come here and share my story with upcoming bloggers. Because I mean, I, yeah, I've had, in the past, to be honest, people have said, how can Linda be making so much money from blogging? Mm. I am a blogger. I don't make that kind of money. And like, it's not... Not everybody's going to succeed in 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 every, in something. Some people are going to just like in football. Ronaldo makes so much money, and there are those who are struggling. So it depends on on your luck and depends on how you're going about doing it. So I just want to come and share my own um, experiences, my own words of wisdom, adv um, advise them, tell them what worked for me. Not necessarily to work for you, but at least I want to share. It. it could work for you too, and just tell them to just keep you know, walking and believe that they will make it one day.